In one corner, a chilling video emerges from the depths of history, revealing Soviet scientists performing horrifying experiments on a decapitated dog's head. Witness as they seemingly breathe life back into the lifeless, sparking debates over the limits of scientific advancement and the boundaries of ethical research. And in the other corner, a seemingly ordinary farm in Colorado becomes the stage for an astounding saga of resilience and wonder. Picture this, a headless chicken named Mike who refused to die and lived on for an unbelievable 18 months without its head. Brace yourselves as we journey into the realm of the inexplicable, where nature's miracles and scientific mysteries collide. The year is 1928, and deep within the laboratories of Soviet scientist Sergei Sergeyevich Burkoninko, a groundbreaking experiment was about to unfold. His aim? To create an apparatus capable of artificially circulating blood in warm-blooded animals. The device, aptly named the autojector, comprised two diaphragm pumps, valves, and a system of tubes. In a chilling demonstration, Brukoninko and his team did the unthinkable. They decapitated a dog and attached its severed head to the mysterious machine. The world held its breath as the unimaginable happened. Blood began to flow, and the head showed signs of life. It reacted to stimuli, opened its mouth, and even swallowed a piece of cheese. This shocking experiment spread like wildfire, raising both awe and horror across Europe. Buoyed by the success of his autojector, Brukaninko continued his quest to push the boundaries of life and death. By 1937, he had perfected his heart and lung machine. Reports emerged of experimental animals being resuscitated using the machine after 10 minutes of circulatory arrest, with complete recovery and no neurological damage. But this wasn't just a story confined to the lab. International scientists, including Professor Haldane from the United Kingdom, witnessed these groundbreaking experiments. The world marveled at the possibilities, while others recoiled in horror at the ethical implications of such discoveries. Fast forward to the early 1940s, the world was engulfed in the darkness of the Second World War. It was during this tumultuous time that the shocking film of the Soviet scientists' experiment surfaced. Some questioned its authenticity, suggesting that it was propaganda orchestrated by the Americans and the British to intimidate the Nazis. However, as we dig deeper into history, the truth becomes more apparent. Brukaninko's groundbreaking work and his device for artificial circulation were indeed real, being kept alive by the machine and even reviving a clinically dead dog after 10 minutes, leaving us with a question. Could the boundaries of life and death be manipulated in such a manner? The years have passed, and science has made tremendous strides, yet the haunting tale of the Soviet dog experiment continues to resonate with us. Today we find ourselves standing on the precipice of another audacious endeavor, human head transplants. Enter Dr. Sergio Canavero, a controversial neurosurgeon, who along with his collaborators, seeks to reanimate human corpses using electrical pulses. The echoes of Frankenstein's story are undeniable as they attempt to reconnect the spinal cord of a severed head to another body. While the ethical implications are profound, the prospect of such a feat remains a tantalizing mystery. The question lingers, could we one day witness a living, breathing being emerge from the realm of the dead? It was an ordinary day on Lloyd and Clara Olson's farm as they prepared to slaughter chickens for the market. Little did they know that this day would be anything but ordinary. As Lloyd wielded his hatchet, one chicken's fate took an unexpected turn. Despite losing its head, this fearless fowl continued to kick, run, and show no signs of surrender. Amazed and perplexed, the Olsons placed the headless chicken, now named Mike, in an apple box for the night. The following morning, to their astonishment, Mike was still alive and kicking. The news spread like wildfire, and the story of the headless chicken quickly captivated the imagination of the small town of Fruta. As the story of Mike, the miraculous headless chicken, spread across the nation, curiosity and wonder grew. The local newspaper sent a reporter to interview the Olsons, and soon after, sideshow promoter Hope Wade saw an opportunity to take Mike on tour. With financial struggles on the farm, the Olsons decided to embark on a journey that would change their lives forever. From Salt Lake City to California, Arizona to the southeastern United States, Mike's fame traveled far and wide. People were amazed at the sight of the headless chicken, while others wrote letters expressing disbelief and curiosity. 
But how did Mike manage to live without a head for so long? Dr. Tom Smulders, a chicken expert, explains that while the chicken lost its head, much of its brain, especially the vital control centers, remained intact. In contrast to humans, where losing the head would be fatal due to the brain's critical functions, chickens have a different neural layout. Up to 80% of a chicken's brain is concentrated at the back of its skull, controlling essential bodily functions like heart rate, breathing, hunger, and digestion. When the head was severed, the brain stem that remained kept these vital functions going. Remarkably, Mike did not bleed to death, thanks to a timely blood clot that saved his life. His survival was an extraordinary combination of fortunate circumstances and the unique neural layout of a chicken's brain. Mike's journey eventually brought him to Phoenix, Arizona, where the curtain fell on his incredible life. One fateful night, tragedy struck when Mike started choking and his life-saving apparatus was accidentally left behind at the sideshow. Unable to clear his throat in time, Miracle Mike passed away, leaving behind a legacy that would echo through the ages. Although Mike's story ended in 1947, his legacy lives on. His brave survival inspired countless people around the world and brought joy to many during difficult times. The Olsons used the money they earned from showcasing Mike to improve their farm and livelihood, but it was not without its challenges. Throughout his life, Lloyd Olson kept the true story of Mike's death a secret, not wanting to admit to any mistake that might tarnish the memory of their extraordinary chicken. But as time passed, the truth emerged and we learned that even miracles have their limits. And so we must bid farewell to these astonishing tales that have taken us on a journey of wonder and fascination. From the eerie experiments in Soviet labs to the heartwarming saga of Miracle Mike, our minds have been stretched to grasp the unimaginable. As we close this chapter of extraordinary medical stories, let us remember that in the vast universe of science and nature, there are still mysteries waiting to be unraveled. These stories remind us that life's enigmas often lie in the most unexpected places, and sometimes, even the most improbable feats can leave us in shock. So, as we venture back into the world, let the memory of these captivating tales stay with you. Let them be a reminder that in the pursuit of knowledge and discovery, we must remain curious and open-minded for the next astonishing story, maybe just around the corner. Thank you for joining us on this enthralling journey through bizarre medical stories. We hope these tales have left you both amazed and inspired. Until next time, keep exploring, keep wondering, and keep seeking the wonders that lie within the realm of science and the mysteries of life. Goodbye for now, and may the marvels of the world continue to ignite your curiosity.